Hello, Cancer. Welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today is November 27th, 2023, and we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we, Cancer? Let's find out, first of all, what you want from this connection. Let's find out what they want from this connection. Let's see how they're feeling about you, and get their actions in the near future and your potential outcome. Let's talk. We have responsibility. So I have to take care of my finances and emotional needs. And overwhelmed. The stress is draining me. Wow. We start this off with a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of uh, considerations here. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. And Kansa, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. So if you want one, the link is in the description box below. What you want is the Six of Pentacles. Okay. What do they want from this connection? The Five of Pentacles. Okay. And their feelings towards cancer in the present moment. Judgment. All right. And their actions in the near future. Good for their actions in the near future. Well, we got a lot of cards for their actions here. What? Ooh. Ooh. Expect to be surprised. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. The Tower. The Ace of Cups. Okay. It's on the bottom of the deck here. The devil, you could be dealing with the Capricorn, Scorpio energies in the house. There's a little bit of obsession, a little bit of thinking, a little bit of fantasizing, dare I say. With the Ace of Wands and the de devil, I always feel it's passion, fantasizing. Uh, a lot of chemistry between you and this person. Um, sexual chemistry, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles here, and the Six of Pentacles is what you want, which is an equal give and take. You want to give to this connection. You want balance. You want to know they're in this for the long haul, through thick and thin, through good and bad. You want to know that they're here. Um, relationship ups up and downs but you want to make sure they're committed they're connected uh, you want an equal give and take that much is very clear here you want to give to this connection cancer now what they want is the five of pentacles what is that they feel whoa whoa the justice in reverse they don't think things are fair at the moment ace of swords they're trying temperance they're trying to have patience they're trying to um well, obviously your person has a lot on their plate. They have a lot of responsibilities here. Um, but whatever is going on, they don't think it's fair. They're kind of in this, in this like, I feel sorry for myself. I'm the victim here. Things aren't fair. Life's not fair. I got too much on my plate. They could be struggling financially, trying to get their finances together. Um, the Ace of Swords and the Temperance is they're having patience before they come and talk to you. You might be sensing something's going on. And I don't, I feel like they're having something going on in their life um like outside of the connection right it could be work stressing them out family children grand grandmas i'm hearing that's weird um i hope someone's grandma's sick but maybe someone is um but whatever this energy would be your person's feeling pretty sorry for themselves at the moment um and they're having the patience to try and in due time they're going to come and talk to you and tell you what's going on that's here so if you're sensing confusion if you're sen sensing something's going on if you're sensing they're not in if they're sensing like they're not giving to this as much as you or as much as you want them to because they got a lot going on in their life here. I don't feel like this stress is from this connection. I did when I saw that. But now that this has come out, I feel like there's something going on in their life. There could be like a family illness or um, just financial troubles for them. And they're stressed and they're not really prioritizing you or haven't in the past here, Cancer. It's what I feel. Um, now, their, act, their feelings towards you is the judgment. What you want to say about that? Yeah, there's the three of wands. That's the thing. It's like I'm very frustrated. Yeah, there's the eight of swords. Your person's frustrated. Uh, there's the Queen of Swords. There's the Ten of Cups. They're um, they're feeling like the Judgment is the card of spiritual awakening, right? It's the card of resurrection, second chances, apologies. They feel that you're very vulnerable. Can't even talk. Oh, maybe they'll get tongue tied when they're around you. Um, they're feeling vulnerable. Um, they feel like you can make them vulnerable. Like you bring out feelings in them, right? Um, but the Three of Wands is you're exactly what they want. But it's like right now it's out of reach. It's like they're just going through a lot of shit. They're trying to get their shit together here with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. But they also, I kind of feel like, think you're mad. I think they are very serious about this connection. Um, but they're stressing out, obviously. The Ten of Cups is uh, you make them happy. I get this element of they feel at peace. Like their life could be chaos. And then they just feel comfortable with you. You just have that healing energy about you. They feel at peace within your energy when, when they're around you. Um, but the problem is, are they prioritizing or going around you enough? That might be the obstacle that you guys are facing here. But either way. Uh, they're very serious about this, but something is just a little bit out of reach. But you're exactly what they want. They feel a very strong spiritual connection. They feel at peace with you. Well, let's see what they're going to do about it. Because there's a lot of cards here, and I think they're going to shock you just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Tower and the Ace of Cups. 
Love confession incoming. That's what this is for me. Um, a shocking confession of the heart. Some of them opening up, prioritizing you, telling you they feel this connection too. They feel like you're their soulmate, twin flame, soul contract with you. They've had a past life, future life, current life. The Ace of Wands is passion, creation. We have two aces here. So they want to resurrect this, create a different... They, I think they want to move things forward differently than they've been. I do feel they're going to start to prioritize you because they don't want to lose you. And that's about to surprise you, um, but it's what you want. So it represents more of not just a shock and a surprise, but it represents big changes in this connection. Maybe they've kind of learned how to balance all their responsibilities. Maybe you're dating or involved with a single mom or a single dad, or just someone who's been struggling financially or have family issues. But they want to prioritize this connection because of the, like I said, when I see the Ace of Wands and the Devil, that is an intense connection with each other. Um, it's a connection that can't be denied. And they don't want to miss out on an excellent opportunity. Uh, you, Akanta. So that's what's up here. That's what's going down. So let's grab some oracles. We'll see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. And uh, we'll see where you guys are in a month. So guys, what is cancer? You need to surrender to when it comes to this person on their mind. Self-esteem. Okie dokie. So you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. All right, let me grab the caring connection here. Let's get the caring connection. What's the caring connection between cancer and the person on their mind? Confusion. All seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers that you need. Yeah, I, I, I do sense that confusion, but I don't think it has anything to do with you. They're going through some shit over here. Some shiznick in their personal life. Okay, I feel like it's in their financial life, to be honest. Um, let's get the hidden truth. They could say something they're not saying. They want to say. They can say. They should say. Maybe they shouldn't, but you need to know, baby. I knew exactly what I was doing. I can't stop thinking about you. You were the best thing in my life, and I know I messed everything up. Well, well, well. Let's see how this progresses. I want to grab this deck. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make, and when I say outcome... Where are you in a month, Cancer? How you doing? How things progressing? How does this little uh, love confession progress here? What's going on? We got the Fool. We got the Seven of Swords. We got the King of Cups. Oh, shoot. Did I forget the signs? Uh-oh. If I did, I apologize. But we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, the King of Cups could be you. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. But there's the Fresh Start. We have the Queen of Wands. Heavy emphasis, Aries, Leo, Sag. We got the Two of Swords in reverse. We have, the, we have three people here. We have the Queen of Swords. There's the Six of Swords. There's the Eight of Pentacles. There is another energy. I I kind of feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be kids or it's like a family member is, is caused. I don't feel third party. It could very well be. I don't feel it. What I feel is, and I felt it back here and I was hearing it's like, like, like a grandma's sick or there's an issue with someone in their family that, that got in the way of this. Um, and I say got in the way. That's a horrible way to say it. I just prevented or delayed them prioritizing you is just a bit of a nicer way to say that. Um, you're about to find out what they were sneaking about, what they were lying about, what they weren't being honest about. And I do feel there's something going on in their family. Here's you, here's them coming to tell you what was going on. They're not letting it stop this anymore though. So maybe they were embarrassed to tell you, maybe they didn't want to tell you, maybe they're not good at talking about it because it's a soft spot, but they're coming to talk about it and they want to move forward here with you. They want to work on this connection. They want to take control, baby, <laughs> in the bedroom too, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so Cancer, they want to take control. They want to progress forward. They're going to tell you what was going on. So that confusion comes to an end, right? Um, I mean, this could be a coworker, it could be boss, it could be work. I just feel like this person's going to tell you what it was and they're not letting it block this connection anymore. Um, they're going to be open and they want to prioritize you and your connection. I feel they're very, very serious about this. So whatever you've been sensing, whatever your intuition has been telling you, there was something going on and they're going to open up and tell you. Um, and I see you guys progressing forward here. I see you understanding. I see you not letting this block this connection. I see a conversation here and I see a leap of faith and you guys moving forward. That's what the six of swords is. It's going right in the eight of pentacles. It definitely revolves around finances in some form, some manner for your person here, cancer, but they're getting that shit together. They're not going to let it block this connection. And I see you two progressing forward. Um, I think, I think you're just taking it step by step. I don't see like marriage or, you know, relationship or anything. I see you guys just moving this forward. Um, and I see clarity coming through. So you understand what's going on, why they've been distanced, why they pulled back or what caused the confusion or the stress. Um, and I see you guys moving forward. So cancer, that's what's up. That's what's going down. That's what's coming down. So if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe helps my channel to grow.
Thank you, Kenta. I truly appreciate your support. Truly, truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. <laughs> Spirit guides, what's the answer for Kenta? Yes or no? Yes. Cancer, that's what's up. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.